Hi friends, this is Joy Banerjee from AIKD Support. In this video, uh, we will be doing something uh, different and very interesting with the help of PowerShell. So, in this particular uh, video, what we will do is we will try to find what are the Windows features are installed in this particular machine. Okay. So let me do a host name. This is our DC. Okay. So I will do a CLS, and we need to run some commands to understand what are the Windows features are uh, enabled on this. Okay. So if I do Windows features, okay. So it will list all the features which are there in this particular um, uh, supported in this Windows Server 2012. But we need the features which are enabled in this particular machine. Okay. So for that, what you need to do is we need to do Windows features. Then we need to use pipe. And then we will type where and then small bracket and then we will do like dollar underscore dot as installed installed okay and then space we need to do like equal then we need to uh, set it as true okay and uh, we can make it this way as well just to to bracket close okay and uh, also I just want to uh, get the output in a proper way so for that I will use select object select object okay with display name display name and uh, display and name okay so I will hit enter. So now you can see it will only list the features which are installed, Windows features which are installed on this particular box. Okay. So it's very crisp and we know this what are installed. Okay. So let's say you have a box which are the features are installed here. We know we have taken out the list. Now I need to install the same features in another box. What it will do? So what we can do is the first thing is we can take the output of this particular list to take the output I will run the same command and I will use another pipe and here I can uh, take the output in two, two ways I can do like out file okay out file okay now I will give file path and let's say before I give a file path I would like to create a directory mkdir c okay let me go to c colon cd slash cls mkdir m okay. already exist okay so let's say mkdir demo okay so we have created a demo directory so now I will give the file into this demo directory okay? demo and uh, let's uh, give a output is uh, for the windows feature so wdf.txt so if I run this this output will go to that particular uh, txt file okay to check that I will go notepad notepad .exe and give the path like c demo then uh, wdf.txt okay I will hit enter now you can see this is the notepad which we have imported okay it is having the list of uh, name of the features okay and it has all details okay. now let's say we have imported in txt now I will let you know how you can import it in CSV as well because CSV is required because for the next step which we want to do okay so what I will do is uh, instead of uh, doing the out file here we will use a different command which will say as import iPhone CSV I will use tab CSV and then I will use path okay I can use like P A T H path 
and then um, I need to give the path. Okay, so this time again we will give like this way demo then w d f one dot c s v. So this time we are making it as c s v file. Okay, okay, something is not correct. Let me check. Sorry, uh, what is the issue? The issue is input cannot be uh, have any parameter or command. Okay, something uh, which I have not done correctly. Let me check. So you can see I have uh, written a wrong command which says import CSV. Ultimately, we are doing export here. Okay, so I need to delete this. Ah, not expand. Export then CSV. What is happening here? Okay. So I will go there. Okay. Export now export CSV path this and now I will hit enter. So now you can see uh, same thing has happened. If I go to the uh, this one, if I do ls, now you can see it has demo. I will go to cd demo. Okay, and do ls. Now you can see it has wdf f1.csv. Okay, so that means CSV file is created. So these are the two ways on which you can export the file and you are exporting in txt, you are exporting in csv. So why we, if the output is fine with txt, why we want it to uh, use csv? Because our motto is to install same features which are installed in this particular box, installing it in the other box as well. So what we need to do is, we need to take this particular csv to the new box and you need to run this command okay uh, so for that what I need to do is okay for this I will do a CLS okay so now what I need to uh, run a command is I will import uh, here we will import CSV so we will use CSV okay and then we will give the path okay so here uh, the path is demo then uh, we have wd wdf1.csv okay then i will use pipe after using the pipe you will use for each because for uh, we for each uh, entry we will need to run this command okay for each then we will use small bracket and we will use like add windows feature okay so now after that we need to give the name okay so we will use like dollar underscore sorry something okay so we'll use like dollar underscore dot then name okay and hit what what if okay what if then the bracket close and now if you hit enter it will what it will do is it will import the entries from the csv file and for each entry it will try to install the windows feature with the name entry which it has, it has okay so if i hit enter now i can see it is collecting the data and it is checking and giving you the inf information that okay these are uh, no changes here and uh, performing the installation and here is a success then no need no change needed here you can see a uh, success success okay and again you will see success so continue with the installation so it is giving you an inst full instruction what exactly we are doing so now you can see um, it is uh, already uh, installed uh, we have what we have run I just uh, want to re recap so what we have done is like import that particular CSV import CSV then in the demo location we have the CSV then we have run that for each then add windows feature name and hyphen uh, what if so if you run this it will try to install it will check 
and then it will try to install the features, Windows features which are need to be installed. So this way you can sync them with the help of PowerShell. So hope this particular video is informative. Do like my um, uh, like this particular video, and if you want to subscribe this channel, please subscribe it because we are going to shoot out more videos like this. And I want you to comment on this particular video and let me know what next you need. Okay, so I will be trying to create those videos. I have a good schedule all, all of now, but but in in any urgent situations, we can really post other videos as well. So what we are doing is in a week we are posting two videos for you. So stay tuned, subscribe to this channel and you will get more videos like this. Thank you very much and hit the thumbs up if you like it. See you.